A hammer is a tool. It's just a tool. A hammer is a great tool. It can be build, used to build a fence or tear down a wall. But it's still just a tool. You ever been called a tool? I'm Jay Lauren Norris, and you're watching Leading Leaders Podcast, and today I want to bring out a point that seems to get lost in the mix, in my opinion. I, I was watching a study this morning that they've now found that fat cells can be extracted from the human body, manipulated in some way, and reinserted into the same human body, and because they came from that body in the first place, there's no rejection of the cell by the antibodies. It doesn't get rejected because it came from there. So it's like, hey, we're neighbors. We belong here, right? But with a little tweaking, they can put it back in the body. And this once fat cell now travels through the body looking for places of inflammation. And when it finds these irritated and inflamed places, it reprograms itself to behave like the cell that's in trouble. And so somehow this cell gets information from somewhere to behave like a spinal column or a damaged nerve or joints that are out of whack or Alzheimer's or Parkinson's can be overcome by these cells. How fascinating is that? Cells that were once a part of the body taken out of the body, tweaked a little bit, reprogrammed, reinserted into the same body, go from being fat cells to being healing cells, regenerated cells within the body. You know what that tells me? Is that the fat cells in your body are tools just like a hammer. They can be used to build up or to tear down. We all know that too many fat cells in your body, and trust me, I'm an expert in fat cells. Too many fat cells in your body can cause diabetes, it can cause high blood pressure, it can cause uh, exhaustion, it can cause a lack of conditioning when it comes to cardiovascular strength. Too many fat cells can do that to your body. But if those fat cells are taken out and reprogrammed, they can then become healing tools? How cool is that? See, I think there's something else that we miss though. There are tools all around us, tools for leadership, tools for relationship building, tools for home building, tools for fence building, that have been pushed into a new category and used for things they were never intended. They've become offensive weapons of destruction rather than healing tools, rather than defensive tools. One other tool I'd really like you to consider is the tool of the mind. Have you ever thought about all the things that your mind is capable of? Have you ever had the fear that if I do this, then that's going to happen? If I believe like that, then this is going to happen? If I allow myself to believe that I could get that job, date that girl, finish this course, buy that house, if I allow myself to believe it and it doesn't happen, then, then I'll just be more disappointed and so I don't even want to believe it. Yes, the mind is a powerful tool. See, I have to ask this question. What do you think it is in the human body that repro reprograms those fat cells to perform in a healing way, to regenerate tissue, to correct nerve damage, to prevent inflammation, to repathway things in the brain, the physical brain, so that memories can return? I think the answer to that question is the mind. It is the mind. The mind is a powerful tool. I believe it was Henry Ford who said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. If your mind tells you, I will always fail at this, guess what? You're going to fail at this. You understand how simple it is to correct that, though. If your mind believes that you can succeed, then nothing can stop you. Sure, you'll run into obstacles and you'll have to redirect and start over and change some things and do it a different way. But nothing can stop you if your mind is right. It's a powerful tool. My challenge for you today is, will you get your mind right and use that tool for 
everything that it's capable of, or will you continue to believe what you've always believed, right, wrong, or otherwise? I'm Jay Lauren Norris. You've been watching the Leading Leaders Podcast on Tell It Like It Is TV. Have a blessed day.